Hi guys, welcome back. And we are back with one problem from the hacker rank and we'll be using PHP to solve it. So let's go with the problem. The problem name is sales by match. All right, so let's go with the problem statement. There is a large pile of socks that must be paired by color. Okay, given an array of integers representing the color of each sock, determine how many pairs of socks with matching colors are there. Okay, okay, I, I got this one. So, for example, n equals 7, it means I have n number of socks, and probably if the first sock is of one color, the second sock is of two color, and the third sock is of one color, it means I can pair this one and one and the number of pairs would be one. Similarly, I can pair this two and two, but I cannot pair this one, three, two with anything. Perfect. I think I got the problem. Let's see. It has two parameters. One is n, one is array. Okay. N is the number of elements in the array and AR is the array. And I should return integer with the matching number of pairs. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. Okay, let me do one thing. Let me loop through the elements of the array. So let me try one thing. I'll create an array which I will call the pairs equals array. And I'll call the pairs count equals zero. Now what I will do is if in array the needle needle will be a and haystack will be pairs so what i'm doing here is i'm checking if the current element is already present in this array so for the first loop it is not present so if it is not present what i will do i will just add it to that array so I'll add new element which will be A. I'm adding new element to this array and this will be the current element perfect. So when the loop goes for the second time or the further times, then what it will do, it will again check. So let's take the example of this one. So if it is one for the first time, it is not present in the pairs array. So I am adding one to it by this line. And for the second time, it's two. It's still not present in the pairs array, so now the array becomes 1 and 2. So once again, what I got? I got 1. So now what happens? This returns true. Because 1 is already present. So what I can do here is, if uh, the matching element is already present, let me search for the index of that element. So array search. What I'm going to search? The A where? in the pairs so i've got the index i don't need to check if index is there because it's in the array so index will always return something to me then i can just increment the pair counts by one so if it is zero it will now become one and then i need to remove that element from this array what i can do unset dollar pairs with the index it should work fine and finally i will return the pairs count let's see if it works this is not one two this is empty let's see and run the code oh i passed both the cases perfect but what i'm seeing here is because i'm using in array and array search so, can I do it some in some other optimized way? Let's see. I don't know if I can, but we can try. So, I will need the two things here. That is the pairs and the pairs count equals zero. Pairs count. But what I will do, I have to loop through the elements as array as a. 
that's fine but i won't be using in array and array search here instead what i will do if is set dollar pairs with a else so what it does it just checks if the pair has an index a or not so for the first time it will won't have any index so it will go to else then what i will do is i will add that index i will add that index as one because the count is currently one nice so if uh, it it is already present then it's easy i will increment it pairs dollar a plus plus nice i should i think this should be the optimized way now what i have in pairs is the index and value the index is the actual element from the array and the value is the number of pairs okay so what i can do here is i'll just make sure that okay let me use a for each here so i always already have the pair count here for each pairs has dollar b and i will just keep on increasing the pairs count equals or plus equals dollar pairs i think it should okay it should not work you know why because this is not the pair that actually i'm counting i'm counting just the occurrences of that particular color right so i cannot do it like this way if you want to see you can check with the pairs count let's see but it should not be the correct answer expected output is three but our output showed nine that was as expected because we are not doing it right here maybe if i do it let's see int div with two i think it should work let's see expected is three debug output is also three. Oh, perfect i think it worked i can just return pairs count so what it does is let's see how, what is the count of p here so for the first time p is four right so it will convert it into integer by dividing it with two so now i can have the pairs count because p is four let's check p is four that's why it, it, it's returning me two perfect let's see if both the cases are satisfied obviously let's see for the all the cases it's working and if i go with the above solution the previous solution it should also work let me comment it out it doesn't matter though because i have already returned here but just to make sure okay this is working if i submit it all the test cases are fulfilled so guys even though the both solutions are working i would personally prefer the later one because it doesn't make use of uh, in array and array search because it doesn't use in array, in array and array search because they are uh, somewhat uh, resource consuming processes 
and you will have more time complexity if you use them so what i suggest you just go with the later solution and it should be the optimized solution for this problem okay i hope you guys enjoyed this video we'll come back with more of the hacker rank problems this much for today cheers guys